everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Jonna Martinez and today I'm going to be showing you how I crochet these super cute kids mittens. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to share the YouTube link with your friends, comment on this video and tell me what you think, and of course thank you for subscribing to my channel. Please check out the description box below for additional information. Let's get started! To begin, I have printed off the pattern and chosen some yarn. This is a Red Heart Worsted Weight yarn and it's just a super saver. To acquire the correct gauge, I am using a G 4.25mm crochet hook. You will also need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle to weave in your end. For these super cute mittens, we begin at the cuff. You want to start with a slip knot. Then, chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Single crochet into the second chain from hook. So not the loop on your hook, but you're gonna go one, two, and then insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We have two loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through both loops for a single crochet. We're gonna do that in each one of our remaining stitches or remaining chain all the way down. You should have a total of six single crochet. Chain one and turn to begin row two. Row two is going to be repeated so we're going to do row two through 21 is going to be all the same thing. So we're going to chain one and turn. Then you're going to be single crocheting into the back loop only of each one of these stitches. And to do that, you're going to look at the top of your work and each stitch has two yarns, one at the back and one at the front. You're going to insert your hook from the top of the stitch down and just grab the back loop. There you're going to do a single crochet and then again into each one of the remaining stitches. At the end of row two, this is what it looks like. And as you see, those front loops get pushed forward and it creates a ribbing effect. Now I have chained one and then you can turn and begin row three. So row three is the same as row two and you're just going to do this until you reach 21 rows and then we can begin the next step. This is how my work looks at this point. Now we're just going to fold our work in half and we're going to slip stitch up here. Just insert your hook into the stitches, both thicknesses, and grab your working yarn and pulling it through and then through the loop on your hook. And do this six times all the way up. Next we can begin the hand part of our mitten. We want to single crochet 24 stitches evenly around the top of the cuff. So I've chained one already and I'm just going to be single crocheting just like this all the way around and you want to try to get or you have to get 24 single crochet. At the end slip stitch to your first stitch and chain one and turn to begin the next round. Now throughout this pattern, you want to always chain one and turn at the end of each row. So round two and three are going to be the exact same. We're just going to be placing one single crochet into each of our 24 stitches all the way around. I will meet back up with you again for round four. Here I am at the end of round three and I am slip stitching, chaining one and turning for round four. Round four, we're going to single crochet in each one of the first 11 stitches. So um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
Then into the next two single crochet, we want to place two. So two and two. We're going to increase in these next two stitches. Two single crochet into this first stitch, and two single crochet into the next stitch. Then your remaining 11 stitches, you want to place just one single crochet into each stitch. Slip stitch when you get back over here, and then we can begin round five. At the end of round four, you should have 26 single crochet. Chain one and turn to begin round five. Round five, we're going to single crochet in the first 12 stitches, and then do an increase just like we did with round four. So again, 12 stitches. After completing those first 12 single crochet, we can then increase in the next two stitches. So two stitches in this first stitch, one, two, and two stitches in the next stitch, one, two. You should then have 12 remaining stitches of this round. At the end, slip stitch to join, and then we can begin row six. At the end of round five, you should have 28 single crochet. Now I just wanted to show you here too that there's like almost like an invisible stitch coming up here. So you want to make sure and just slip stitch over that. Count those V's on top and you should have your 28 single crochet. Slip stitching, chaining one, and turning to begin round six. Round six, we're going to single crochet in the next 13 stitches and then do our increase. So after 13 stitches, I can meet back up with you again for our increase. The increase is going to be the same as our last two rounds. So this first stitch, we're going to place two single crochet and then again, two into the next stitch. Then place one stitch into each of the remaining 13 stitches. And at the end of this round, you will have 30 single crochet. At the end of round six, this is how my work is looking. And as you see, it's kind of going, making a little mountain for where the, for where the thumb is going to be. So you see this little hump here. Okay, so I'm chaining one and turning and rounds seven through 12. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So six rounds, we're going to place one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. And of course, at the end of each round, you want to slip stitch, chain one, and turn. I will meet you again for round 13. At the end of round 12, this is how my work looks. And now we can begin round 13, which is also the thumb hole round. So chain one, and we want to begin with single crocheting in each of the next 11 stitches, and then we can do the thumb hole. So I've done my 11 single crochet, and then we skip eight stitches for the thumb hole. So two, four, six, eight for me. And into this ninth stitch here, we are going to single crochet. So there's one, two, three, and there should be 11 stitches to finish here. I did have 11 stitches and now I'm slip stitching and chaining one and turning to begin the next round. You will have 22 single crochet at the end of round 13. Next are rounds 14 through 23, which is 10 rounds. We're going to place one single crochet into each of these 22 stitches and for each round, and then I will meet back up with you for row 24. At the end of round 23, this is what my mitten looks like, and I'm ready to begin round 24. Chaining one, and turning, 
We're going to a single crochet in each of the next three stitches and then single crochet two together. So single crochet one, two, and three, and then single crochet two together. So these two stitches, we're going to insert our hook into the first stitch, grab our yarn and pull up a loop. We have two loops on our hook. Insert your hook into the second stitch, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We now have three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. And then we're going to repeat that all the way around. So one single crochet into the next three stitches and then single crochet two together. At the end of this round, you will have 18 single crochet. I have slip stitched, chained one and turned for row 25. Row 25, you're going to single crochet in the first two stitches and then single crochet two together. Repeat this all the way around and at the end you'll have 14 stitches. I have completed row 25 and now getting ready to begin row 26. Row 26, we're going to single crochet into the first stitch and single crochet the next two stitches together. Repeat this all the way around and at the end we will have 10 single crochet. Now the last row of the mitten part is row 27 and in this round we have only 10 stitches of course here. So we're just going to do two or single crochet two together all the way around and at the end we will have only five stitches remaining. And at that point then you can grab your yarn needle and draw all the stitches together and sew in your ends. Here I've cut a nice long tail and I'm just using my hook and pulling that tail right through the last stitch. And now we can finish off the thumb. To complete the thumb and right here in the corner stitch right here, you can see that hole right there, I'm going to be joining my yarn and placing a single crochet. So there I'm chaining one and placing a single crochet. Then place a single crochet in each one of the eight thumb stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then in the corner right there, so we have another kind of hole right there, we're going to place another single crochet on that side. And then the body of the mitten or the hand of the mitten, if you turn it like this, you see there's two more holes right there and we're going to place a stitch in each one of those. So we're going to have a total of 12 single crochet. This is a little tricky, you gotta fuss with the mitten a little bit. One, two, and then slip stitch to your first single crochet. Chain one and turn to begin the next round. Row two, we're going to single crochet the first two stitches together and then single crochet in each of the remaining stitches. At the end of this round, we will have 11 single crochet. Row three is gonna be the same as row two. We're going to single crochet the first two stitches together and place one single crochet in each of the remaining stitches. At the end of this round, we will have 10 single crochet. Now rows four through seven, you're just going to place one single crochet into each of your 10 stitches for the four rounds, so four, five, six, seven, and then we can meet back up for row eight. Now for round eight, we're just going to be single crocheting two stitches together all the way around. Just repeat this, two stitches together, and then you will have five stitches remaining. You will leave a long tail, and then we can sew up the ends of our mitten. 
Here are these super cute kids mittens all finished. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like this video, comment on it, share the YouTube link with your friends, and of course thank you for subscribing to my channel. Have a lovely crochet day, and I hope to see you again in my next tutorial. Bye!